generous with the powder on the skin because throughout the day the skin will produce its natural oils to make it glowy again. That's a beautiful colour on you. Like a rosy, really soft light rose, peachy colour. Can never forget the chin. And just with a little bit of powder, this will all be set. You okay for me to clip it back here? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. So, what's your skin type? Do you know? Um, so, it's a mixture combination. So, I've got oily T zone and then quite dehydrated and dry in the other patches. Nice. But very acne prone today, it's not the best, sadly. Okay. It's slightly more sensitive. It's actually looking really nice. So, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't you. worry about that. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm just popping a little bit of moisturiser. Even if you do have slightly oily T-zone, it's still really good to moisturise. So that's what I'm doing now. And that will actually help the longevity of the makeup throughout the whole day. And you haven't got any like allergic reactions to anything? Um, not that I know of, no. Perfect. I hate fever, I guess. <laughs> Wonderful. I do always like popping a lip balm on the, the brows as well to put it on the lips, but afterwards I'm going to pull it through the brows and that will just help to. Make it all soft and conditioned. So what's your th favorite themes of makeup? Do you have any, do you think? <laughs> um. So on me, I mm -hmm. I don't know actually. So when I look at others, I love the Charlotte Tilbury style and the kind of natu natural glam, is that a word? Natural okay. glam, yeah, yeah, that's definitely a thing. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I like that. But then on me, I haven't tried that much. Like when I do my own makeup, I'm really simple. I don't wear it most days. So while I like that on others, I don't know how well it suits me and mm -hmm. stuff, so I like trying out new ones to see what. So just going good. for something a little bit heavier, just to see what kind of suits you. Yeah, I think that's good. I think it's good to try something heavier, and then you can always tame it down. Take you know, bring out your comfort zones, and then strip away it slowly by slowly, just to see what your style is. Mm. Well, I always think if it's like basic natural makeup I can usually do that myself but the more bold stuff I don't really know how to do mm -hmm. so I like to try it perfect we'll definitely do something a little bit a bit more than a, a daytime <laughs> look thank you do you have a favorite I really love, um, like, like you said, glam, but Hollywood glam. Oh. So I love, I love a little like red lip, um, a bold red lip, and a, like a an eye, smoky eye with a flick, but very just very classic, and quite like editorial almost. Kind of like what you see on Marilyn Monroe and stuff. That's it. That's oh. it. And I love that vibe. I love, I love teaming up because I do hair as well. So normally I would team up like a 
Hollywood wave with that and I just think that just looks stunning. I can see that suiting you as well. <laughs> oh, sounds really fun. Yeah. I don't ever usually do red lips. I wonder if they'd suit me. We could definitely try today. Yeah, yeah I'd love to. to. <laughs> There's something quite like effortless about it because it's very simplistic. Mm. But yeah, it's quite it's effective with the whole glowy skin and the subtle kind of colours. So this is, I uh, first put on um, a little bit of concealer just to under frame the brows. And then we've got a cream eyeshadow at the moment and that's going on the lid more so than anything else just to keep on all the colours that I'm going to put on in a second. I think if you speak to lots of makeup artists the one thing they'll say is I can't live without a paint pot. <laughs> so the ones from MAC um, like the classic you know uh, painterly groundwork um, there's so many, there's absolutely so many, but the real kind of simple colours are like the perfect bases for like a 24 hour look, eye look. I guess it's these like foundation steps that make it stay on longer. Absolutely, yeah. It's all about the, the prep. <laughs> to just pop a little line if you look up for me that's it. a little coating underneath not too much just enough to capture anything that draws like falls underneath the eye little droplets got a base to blend in the eyeshadow from this. <laughs> so I know you like Charlotte Tilbury. You got a Charlotte Tilbury. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna definitely recreate a look with a couple of their products that I've got in my kit because they I love them just as much as you. <laughs> They're very soft and the, the quality of Charlotte Tilbury is really good so eyeshadow look without a real white matte eyeshadow. I feel like there's a perfect thing to have in your kit or in your makeup bag just to complete you know anything that you want to like blend in.
just so relaxing about getting makeup done as well. <laughs> Makes you fall asleep, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe it's because my eyes are shut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same, even if I'm flying on other people, it's very therapeutic. colors in your eyes they're just stunning so i'm going go underneath with a little bit of burnt orange just to pop that out even more thank you <laughs> eyes a rest now and move on to the skin. <laughs> uh, I don't always have to but there's something about mixing that really creates like a very unique canvas which is just completely catered for you really um, and also I can as I go along I can really determine where the light and the dark shades need to go so you probably see a lot of people contouring with foundation <laughs> and it's literally it's just that really. Um, and it's not to say, oh, you know, once you have this contour, you can't put more contour on. I will definitely put more, but it kind of helps to start from the beginning. <laughs> something I shy away from because I'm always scared I'll look like a, a, I don't know, I've got like too dark a brown or something. Mm. I've like, got like, too dark all over sort of thing, you like to be your colour. Mm. Yeah. It's definitely good to aim for your colour, even if you want to go a bit darker, it's tempting, but that kind of porcelain, if you've got like really, really nice fair skin like you do, it's it's gorgeous it's absolutely you should show it off and you know bring that to life and go for a color that's really true to your color
like makeup and hair at the same time. Yeah, quite often um, that's, that's what I do. I get booked in for hair and makeup, um, for people's events, going out, could be anything from BAFTA, red carpet, to oh. weddings. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. I, loved, I love doing the both together. I think it really plays a part in the finished look. Yeah, hair's always something I just, I'm quite bad, I just kind of leave it. <laughs> but when it is done, I know it like looks so much more like effortless, which sounds contradictory, but I almost when your hair's done, it looks more natural yeah. than when it's untamed. Yeah. Natural. <laughs> yeah, well, it's nice because you can kind of pick what you want it to look like with the, the makeup look and with your outfit. And But you've got beautiful hair. I mean, Thank you. you wouldn't have to do much to style it. <laughs> and I always struggle with it because I don't know if it's because it's so thin, but it doesn't really keep shape very well. Uh -huh, like, like curls? Yeah, like I'll curl it and then it'll last like half an hour. Yeah. That's, I think that's very true for straight hair. It's slightly mm. hard to keep the, the curl in there, but there's definitely tricks that you can do to prep it. It's all about the prep. I think if you start with, you know, a good blow drying and then you go onto heated tools and you style it and you've got the right products in there, like it's definitely gonna stay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's like makeup. It's like you prep it with the right products and it will last a lot longer. That's good to know. I genuinely thought it was a lost cause for me. No, no. <laughs> absolutely not. That's why I've never really tried doing any sort of hair themed stuff on my channel before because I was like, I don't want to like disappoint people when mm, it doesn't work when on it doesn't. me. No, it definitely will last. You might have to have a little bit more extra hairspray <laughs> or something like that, but yeah, it definitely, definitely works. Mm. Only London as well, it had like less wind. <laughs> yes, <laughs> London's all about that, isn't the city? You're running away from the weather yeah. a little bit when you're out. <laughs> Once you're inside, you're all good. <laughs> so I'm blending it down. I, I have used, I've mixed a little bit of foundation with moisturizer. If you ever find you like, you kind of get that, that line and you, you want to look a bit more tanned, but you've got that line and the, the moisturiser really helps to get an even look without it looking a bit dry. You know, sometimes it can go a bit liney and a bit, um, yeah, it just look a bit cakey looking on the neck. Yes, yeah. The little bit of moisturiser goes a long way with that. Oh. Amazing, yeah, it always, I always get commented like, oh, I don't really feel the, the foundation on. I'm thinking, you never want to feel the foundation on. <laughs> Just, you just want it to feel like your skin and light and dewy. It's more comfortable that way as well. Yeah. It's like wearing comfy clothes as opposed to like really uncomfortable <laughs> ones. That's it. I'm not sure that was the best metaphor, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's <laughs> like wearing your favourite comfortable shoes. Yeah. <laughs> instead of heels. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I like to think of makeup like in the sense of of shoes as well, where you kind of I don't know about you, but I like to go like really natural, really dramatic, like all or nothing. And I feel like makeup is like really nice in that sense as well for evening, go all out, mm -hmm. and then daytime or work day, you just wear almost next to nothing. I think you get the benefits mm -hmm. from that. Yeah, because then when you do makeup, the contrast is so much more that it's almost more wow. Yeah, and yeah. it feels good for you, it feels good for what you're doing. Let me look into this corner. That's it. Also, I, I never really see the reason to put makeup on at work. No, there's not too much reason, is there? Unless you're face, forward facing people. That's true. And then we look in this one. Perfect. And then 
I look down again. anything falls down a really good tip just using cotton bud underneath you can get like little drops use a little bit of moisturizer or a tiny bit of uh, makeup remover and just wipe it away <laughs> a lot of people are like stop doing big smoky eyes because they're scared of like drop you know it gets smudging everywhere. it yeah and it's just wiping it away. I always leave the concealer for this reason as well. So it doesn't get stuck to any of to redo it. That's mm. it. Do you do it as one of the last steps then? One of them, yeah, I do. Because I like to finish off the whole eye. Do mascara, do everything on the eye and then I like a lovely smooth finish underneath. eyebrows must should be really soft now so I can just comb them up and they stay what do you do with your eyebrows normally um, I'm not very good with eyebrows I do have one eyebrow pencil and I just do a few tiny lines on it to fill them out but try not to draw too much because I'm scared I'll make them too bold. Mm -hmm. I don't think I suit really, really, really bold eyebrows. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's the danger I, of going too dark, isn't it? Yeah, and just looking a bit angry. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love them. Um, I have a friend that she always, I, I don't know, she said she used soap one time, but she oh, like yes. back, back brushes them and they, I don't know what, is it like like lamination or something? Yeah, but lamination. They look beautiful. That's but. it. Yeah, the soap is a very ancient <laughs> thing. <laughs> but like grandmas and mothers used to do oh, that really? when they didn't have like anything. Yeah, and they used to use soap to, and I'm, I'm sure there's still people that do that now. Uh -huh. um, but it acts as a bit like a glue. It just sticks them up and you, you know, scrub a bit off on a brush and then brush them through your brows and... Uh, but and they look so nice when they're brushed up sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, and the lamination is the newer version mm. of the modern day eyebrow. Yeah, I'm too scared to get any sort of like proper treatment done because if I don't like it, it probably stays around a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, lamination only lasts, you know, three to six months. But, um, yeah, obviously, if you go get tattooing or anything like that, there's obviously. Mm. A lot longer. Lovely. That bit's quite important, is you can't always see in through your eyes about the, the upper the top of the brows but in pictures and things like that you can sometimes see it quite translucent oh. so it's always good to go over again the top of the brow because in case you've missed any like little bits with the foundation dyeing my brows or not but I never have the courage to do it. Oh really? <laughs> yeah because I dye my hair so blonde that I sometimes wonder if I should make the brows match a bit more but mm. I'm always too much of a wimp to dye my brows. <laughs> <laughs> They're really nice as they are to be honest I wouldn't I wouldn't have gotten much darker than you've gone mm. naturally. 
I think sometimes tinting brows and lashes are quite nice if you go like on holiday or something, something special and you just want to leave them alone and have a good holiday. <laughs> do this forever. Just keep making them bigger and bigger. <laughs> great for sometimes a little bit of black on the top likes to go underneath so this helps to brighten it up again the best tool is your fingers. <laughs> Works just like a sponge. Beautiful colour on you. Like a rosy 
really soft light rose peachy colour. Never forget the chin. That bit of blusher. That's blusher, yeah. On the chin. A little bit of, yeah, it really oh. helps to like bring the, uh, you have a lovely almond face anyway, but the, the most popular face, the more aesthetically the beautiful face is more almond, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so a little bit of colour underneath there just brings it uniform like you can you know see that underneath um, a little bit like this what I'm doing now you know people go do the whole eight the three or the eight whichever you like to call it and they just take it underneath the chin to frame the chin if you leave this bit you know you're kind of missing out on an opportunity to frame your jaw you know the bottom part of the jaw so a little bit of blush underneath the chin goes a long way I never knew that <laughs> I'm a bit obsessed with like I don't know, like, I love, like, sculpting facials and, like, lifting yeah. facials to try and get the face more, like, toned like that. So. That's it. I love this sort of thing. Okay. Blush Contouring comes, like, in so many different forms and blusher can be, like, another form of sculpting and contouring. So you can use all your makeup products, actually, to, to actually contour the face if you, you know, really think about it. Because it's all about colouring. It's just about mm. colour theory, really. And knowing your structure and yeah <laughs> tiny bit of highlight yeah i guess like back in the day those youtube videos where people would like turn themselves into a celebrity and stuff like that with makeup that's it, it used to be big so okay. yeah it's the same sort of thing like that you can literally do any there are no rules you can take all the tips and tricks from anywhere and apply them to yourself <laughs> I know at the moment it is very glowy, but that's good. We want that. The <laughs> more glow, the better. Don't worry, I quite like it when it's glowy as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Now we can go in the concealers. Now the skin's perfected. So this is probably the biggest area of people's concerns are the under eyes. So I think it's it's good to pay quite a lot of attention to it. Maybe look up to the ceiling. needs like some kind of colour corrector if we really want to get that kind of red carpet kind of flawless or even bridal or a bridesmaid look <laughs> a very popular thing now it's um become very very popular to do to be 
getting your makeup done for the bridesmaids <laughs> wedding for the bride yeah. as a bride yeah if you want to look your best for their big day and... yeah and if you think about it there's you know there's a lot of people there it is might might be your kind of only and biggest event of the year it's a nice thing to do for yourself for sure mm. yeah <laughs> Oh yeah, it must be so much fun doing makeup, uh, wedding related makeup, like, weddings are just so magical. They are. <laughs> it's so cliche to say, but it is all about love, I mean, you don't, you can't get a better event than that. <laughs> Done. This will all be set. Happy look up to the ceiling. That's set. There's a big difference with the powders that I'm using. I'm using the a, like a sh slightly shinier one for the eyes, and then a matte one for the skin. And that way we can get the texture looking good. I guess like the contrast. Like yeah. Making sure it doesn't all look the same. That's it. I'm working with like the skin's texture so this is always like the driest area of the the face so we always have to put different things under the eyes so this is actually a mineral but you can use um they have you know a really good one from laura mercia chanel anywhere any counter has like a slightly more luminous i think what would be best though is the loose because the loose is a lot finer that's the only difference yeah beautiful generous for the powder on the skin because throughout the day the skin will produce its natural oils to make it glowy again <laughs> so what were you thinking how, how are you feeling with the red lip i'd love to yeah? try it yeah try it <laughs> to. amazing let's go for a red
Chicken. a long lasting um, liquid to matte. Once it's actually dried it shouldn't move at all or slip around or anything. So you can kind of go on by your day. Obviously if you're kissing somebody it might come off but <laughs> <laughs> it's just a normal day it will stay on. You can always do the old trick, put your finger, little finger in your mouth to stop it going to teeth, that's it. Yeah, I think you're almost there. I'm going to put a little bit more blush because I love, I love blusher on people. I think it looks really healthy and I think, yeah, I think yours is. how much the face just absorbs the blush and by the end you don't look like you've got hardly any on so it's great we have to always go in and top up <laughs> going with more um, bronzer but I love the simplicity of like the face and then just the focus being eyes lips and cheeks that looks really stunning I think I'll get me a picture a uh, picture I'll get you a mirror so you can see wow oh my god I love the lips yeah <gasps> oh it really <laughs> does go with the top I've got on it does it's like I knew it does god it looks so different I love it <laughs> oh, this is exactly why I should try new, new things. Styles, yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, I love that. 